Hey boys, welcome back to round 10 of our Broncos season two. We're clinging on to eighth spot there, but again, only a couple wins away from like top four. So yeah, it's still, it's still anyone's game at this point to secure that sort of top four finish. You know, we'd like to, we'd like to think that we're fairly set for a, for a top eight finish. It would be a bit of a disaster if we miss a top eight, but we definitely want to get that top four. And, uh, you know, just got to win the last start, taking on the Seagulls, who are uh, actually, again, I do this every time. I don't, <laughs> I don't see where the other team is on the ladder, but they're going to have a strong team, without doubt. Good back line. Uh, they actually have Cameron Cullen in the halves, who is actually, and then the uh, the front row, very strong with the back row, pretty good as well. But uh, I actually don't know where Cullen is. Is he, is he actually at Seagulls still? I thought. Cullen went over to Super League. I can't actually remember, but I know like Cameron Cullen was like a really good player in the Queensland Cup. I, I thought I thought he went to a couple of clubs. I know yeah, I can't remember, but he may still be at Seagulls. I know that was his last um his last sort of uh NRL club he featured at, but uh yeah, he hasn't really ever got a real crack at first grade. I think he was standard for the for the NRL, but um yeah, just another one of those guys that is, is solid. Well, I thought he was very good, but um, making that leap then to uh, to to the NRL, it's uh, it's a lot tougher. Is Jake Trebojevic is just gonna borrow his way over there? Just um, a very frustrating try. Just you know, yeah, complain about it all the time. Everyone complains about it. It's just it's just one of those ones. Where, you know, the rest of the defensive line is standing around. And again, I I talked about this. In a, in a fairly recent video, I think, but uh, they just have to implement a button you press to make another player just go into the tackle, you know, because the AI is just standing around. You need to implement that, just a button, just a button to press is uh, right here. Have they scored? No, it's a handover. They must have been awfully close right there, almost uh, barging over again, but yeah, just a simple button. I can't remember. There is a game. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, I have no, I, I can't remember what game it is, but um, yeah, just a button to do it like that is right here. Good, uh, good work by Milford there. Just um, on last tackle, saw a bit of a hole in the defense and decided to uh, to pin the ears back honestly, because that's you know that's where Milford plays his best footy is when he um goes for those sort of uh, raids, uh, attacks the line. Even on last tackle, it's a, it's a good uh, time to do it. But right there, we're attacking left. And, uh, oh, right, I should say. And I uh, just got knocked down by the Seagulls. I thought I had the numbers, but um, a bit of a poor play. And then right here, Jordan Carr, who is going to take it into touch, where I think it's going to be the Seagulls ball, which is actual nonsense. They knocked, <laughs> they for sure knocked it on, but uh, Carr, who attacking the ball, is going <laughs> to take it into touch. So uh, we got to survive. Probably not a full set of six, but, um, yeah, it, it's going to be a couple of tackles. And, uh Terrible, terrible defense. I overread the play. Jake Jaboyevich is going to get his second try. I, yeah, I was expecting sort of the outside line and I sort of crabbed across with, I think it was Glenn. And he came back on that hard angle and scored a, uh, a try. So, yeah, things things are not going our way in this game. That is that is for sure. I, you know, I don't even think we've been playing that badly, but the, the first try, a bit of, you know, one of those nonsense ones. And then right there, I mean, we shouldn't have even, we should add possession. We should have had the scrum feed, but um, yeah, not to be as we, we go for a short one. It's actually bouncing around there, but um, no chases. So I, yeah, I don't know. I did see a comment. Um, I made that comment or I, I said in a video that I couldn't get short ones back and someone actually commented that, um, that they do it all the time. I don't know how you do. I don't, <laughs> I have no idea. But um, right here, we actually get a little bit of a uh, bit of luck. Cherry Evans going for a early kick actually kicks it out on the full, which is which is good to see. Um, you know, because a, a lot of times, especially in rugby league games, a lot of times the AI don't make mistakes like that. So it was good to see them actually kick it out on the full. As uh, unfortunately, again though, we're obviously going to give the possession over to the Seagulls. 50 minutes into this game, it's going to be the last tackle here. It's going to be Cullen to put up a, uh, a bomb. Jordan Carr, who getting underneath it and takes it nicely. And uh, a little bit of room to move there as well. He's, I thought he's, I thought just the way this game was going, I was going to run over the sideline. But again, just, yeah, just sloppy. Everything's sloppy this game. 
And uh, right here, what has happened here? It's going to come into the arms of Kahu. I <laughs> we're going to get a six to go. <sighs> yeah, that was uh, that was very sloppy, but it, it worked out in our favor. Uh, but then again, <sighs> just a simple spread to the left and plays it is not in the, the, the correct positions. And then Thompson on the back of it is going to just barge his way over for the third try. This was a frustrating match. Like that that play before where just two players like standing in the way, it gets knocked on between them and then they march down the other end and score another one of those tries. Just <laughs> just not going our way this game is Kahu is going to look for uh, for another short one. I thought why not, you know, let's let's practice these. I, I've never done it in this game, but see if we can't do it. But they don't even chase it. Like that one's gone out in the full. Not a great one, but um yeah, they don't even chase it, so I don't. I actually don't know if you can get short ones back. Um, I don't know. What, has anyone like? I know I saw that one comment, but um, has anyone else been able to get the short kicks back? Like, how do you actually? How do you do them? I know in Rugby League Live Three, before they patched it, they were like very easy to do, but then they just nerfed it out of the game completely. So it wouldn't surprise me if they just got rid of them. As uh, Darcy Lussick of all players, he's just going to oh my goodness who was he trampled over maybe Nikarima a little fella in the middle there um boy oh boy that was uh that was disgraceful I think I was looking at Nikarima I'm like is he fatigued like just just get him off but um yeah this is falling apart 24 nil again like I, I we haven't even like played that badly it wasn't like we were you know gifting the ball over and stuff like that as uh, Albert Kelly it's a good kick you know, a little bit of confidence. We're still going for the plays. But it wasn't a game where I walked away from this and, and thought that we just played terrible. Like, I was defending terribly and stuff like that. It was just... It was more just the game. Just the Seagulls had the momentum and we couldn't get... It. Good example. Forward pass. <laughs> it wasn't a good pass. I don't... It seemed like it got knocked knocked down by something. But it looped up. And, I mean, I, I don't really know if it was forward... And then, I mean, look at this. They get a zero tackle <laughs> from the scrum and gets knocked down by one of our players as uh, they try a little outside inside play to Tommy Chaboyevich. And uh, last tackle, just get this game over with. Try not to concede another try, but um, right here, simply get the off rifle. <laughs> we charge it down. Um, we didn't really play it, it's so not six to go, but I thought he was going to run away and score. It would have just been the icing on the cake for this game. Um, yeah, as Dave Taylor, big fella, makes a makes a line break. So, see if we can finish off with something something flashy. But yeah, this has been an absolute, just a, a abysmal game. And again, like I said, I, I don't even think we're that bad. It's just momentum was against us. The game sort of really didn't help us as uh, get a little bit of chance to attack. But that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully, guys are enjoying the series. Uh, we just can't get any consistency. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.